Hey there guys, it's Kage DQT coming at you and today we're going to talk about the GBG matchmaking situation as I said in the previous video we would. Essentially, I believe reset guilds are dead to some capacity. I'm not 100% on that, but we're going to go over some things I think that might help people if they're still looking to cheat the system cuz why not? Everybody deserves more gems. Those who want to fight hard to get them can do that against other try-hard guilds in that capacity. So essentially for this month, things have definitely changed up. The rules of engagement have, have gone awry. And it's pretty apparent in just kind of looking at the tournament data here. You know, even our gold league had a decent amount of heavy hitters. Every, every guild we fought had 20 people, we had 20 as well, and we fought, you know, everybody. We, we fought AW, we fought our sub guild, we even fought in, so, you know, we fought TWR, we fought everybody. So, the old, old trick of doing the resets because of how the guild level dictated everything, I think that's pretty much done. I mean, we're currently 42. And some of the guilds we were fighting. I mean, let's take a look. What level is in, for example? Let's look at in. In 76. So, that's a disparity of over 30 levels. And, yeah. There's 76. What's AW? Is AW a little bit higher? AW's 81. So, I, I don't think to some end that... That just resetting anymore is going to do it. However, I could be wrong. And there is one thing here that I do want to test. And I do want to stress this importantly. Before we, we jump to the more extreme measures. And some other things I'm going to pitch to you guys. In terms of what we can do. Is that we just got done with a mega boss battle. I mean, we ranked in the top 10 for our guild. We fought against other guilds that you know ranked pretty highly as well. And... In terms of that placement, I mean, AW got 10. I'm not sure where, where, what's it called? Um, does it still have the rankings? I don't think it does. I still have to finish that myself. I don't think it has the guild rankings, sadly. I would have loved to have, have looked those over again to see where everybody placed, but... I've talked to a bunch of different guilds. I mean, a good example is, you know, Dazzling Kaleidocats. They ran 15. They placed in the top 100 for the Mega Boss Battle, and they got Master 1. They didn't seem to have too much resistance in their fights. Uh, Zith and BDS both ran 17 this month. They weren't fighting any of the the full full stacked guilds. They weren't fighting Starfall, AW, any of them. They were fighting similar, similar guilds. Now, can a guild of 19 still fight 20? Potentially, yes. That that's still possible. So, there's other things in play here. Even looking at maximum total CP, we ran some numbers for the fights we did. They can be a, a bit loose. I mean, you can get matched within, from what we saw on our numbers, about seven mil was the threshold, we'll give or take a little bit for what we encountered, but again, there's a lot of metrics and things here we can look at for how everything is going to go, but I'd like for most of us, whoever's going to, you know, try this out first, let's just see what a normal reset does, and if you want to run a couple short for the month, I'd say, you know, 12 to 15 is ideal, 17 doesn't seem to be bad either, 17 definitely worked for BDS and Zith. Although you could run into them by doing 17. I don't think you'll run into BDS, but you could run into Zith if you do 17. And well, that could be a fight in itself. They're, they're not serious about in terms of GVG and things of that nature. But you are going to be going against a lot of Max Awaken, Awaken Plus units, current units. It, it could be a fight in that regard, so you got to be careful. So maybe 12 to 15 is ideal, but that if if um 
numbers hold a lot more precedent, that is going to be the way to go. Now, why do I not say split up and go complete tens? God forbid, for whatever reason, if you run ten people and you get stuck against a, a twenty-man guild who kind of knows what they're doing, you're you're done. They just send in the first wave. Anything they lose, they send somebody else in to fix it. They've got a one-for-one -one ratio. At least with like twelve or fifteen, if you fight more opponents, you know you skip some of their tougher defenses. They don't have retries for everybody. They have a lot of retries, but. You guys, you have a, a bit more leeway there. So, if if you were going to do anything, I'd say the first thing would be reset. If you wanted to take some more extreme measures to kind of test out what's going to happen for next month, I, I'd be looking at kind of scaling back a bit on, on who does GVG because if, if things are the way they, they're going to stay, you run with 20, you could run against any other guild that runs 20 and... There are some pretty heavy hitters out there that, realistically, not a lot of us have a chance of beating. I mean, they take the game very seriously. They know what they're doing. They've got a lot of high-end units, and it's a dangerous combination. And most of you guys would rather try and obtain the 2,500 gems. I know I would rather take them over stressing about this mode. So, yeah. Now, there is one other thing that we could test here, and... If numbers really do play a part and the guild level no longer exists in terms of matching, there is something we can do. And this is a little bit more devious, but if you want to just start setting up alts and setting up guilds with, I don't know, 10 to 15 people for a defense and throwing it into the, the tournament queue and seeing what happens, eh, might, might play to your benefit. You, you might even get that guild that you created with alts. Or, and think of it in a way of like kind of RTA, where people throw matches by sending one unit in and giving up wins that way. I think with enough of those, that may may cause some chaos in the system, may work to our, our favor. But you may be asking, why, why do I do all this? Why do I give you this information? Why, what, what's my goal here besides getting easy gems? Well... I'd really like to see a real matchmaking system for this. Because it is fun when you fight somebody that you have a chance to beat. It, it's it's pretty, pretty fun. It's pretty fun to have a decent match where it could go either way. That I don't mind spending time on. If I fight Starfall, I know I'm losing. I, I, I fight AW, I, I know I'm losing. Like, why would I spend my guys' time and effort to fight those battles if I have no chance to win? That's stupid. I, I would not I would not do that to my guys. I would not waste their time. But if it's a fight where it's like, hmm, it could go either way. Yeah, let's try. Let's try and win. Hey, if we win, great. If we don't, well, we gave it a good shot. But at least there was a chance there. I don't know. Some people like the challenge no matter what. I, I'm more practical. If we're going to throw some effort into something, I want to at least have a decent chance to, to come out with, with a beneficial result. But, but that's just me. So, for right now, main thing is definitely if you are if you still have one of these guilds and you, you did well with, with Mega Boss Battle, you placed like top 100, get rid of that guild and let's see what happens. That, that might be enough. But if it isn't and you want to go an extra step, I'd scale back some people or I'd kind of, you know, reconfigure your guilds a bit. Maybe break them into two, get some more people, you know, maybe... Do like a 13-13, you know, bring some other people into the fold. S something, you know, I wouldn't do a pure 10. And if you got some alts, if you want to, you know, set up some extra guilds to create kind of like bot guilds, which we don't see too much of anymore. Well, set up some alts, throw some guilds up for people, let us know. We'll, you know, I'll coordinate with you guys. Anybody wants help in doing that, getting it set up. I don't mind making an alt and getting it up there to throw it into a guild, and I'm sure other people wouldn't either if we want to really mess with the system. Because, again, some of us don't really care about this system, and we want to just get our gems and call it. I'll take that. <laughs> and then one day when they really do fix this system, because they have been tweaking it based off of what we're doing, they, they do know what we're doing here. This is pretty open. I'm not keeping this like an insider trade secret. 
maybe we'll get a better system where everybody can ultimately enjoy it. So those, those are my thoughts. But anyway, if you guys have any other ideas on how to enhance the matchmaking in our favor, or if you, you have some other, other things we could do potentially, overall, put it down in the comments. Let me know. I'm, I'm open to seeing what else we could do, or, or if you have any other data you want to provide to bring to the fold, I can look over everything. I didn't want to throw a bunch of numbers and Excel sheets at you guys and stuff. I'm just not that, that's just not my thing. We could always bring Jen on, on the show to do that. that. That's her thing. I don't mind just going over it with her. But I look at enough spreadsheets and things in my, my work life. I, I don't want to do that here. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to work on that after hours. No, thank you. But that being said, guys, I will see you next time. We'll, we'll have another video out here at some point. Maybe we'll go over some potential future events for the anniversary. Uh, I've got some people data mining things for us, seeing what's coming down the pipeline, and we'll we'll discuss what what we could be seeing. And of course, we'll be doing a as as big a gem pull as we can on Vern when he shows up. We've got 31k right here. I'm saving up my money, haven't thrown any paid in, but we'll we'll just be getting ready for that. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.